And live from Philadelphia at National League Park, Philadelphia Philly is up 3-0 in the 1907 World Series against the Cleveland Naps. Bill Bradley leading off with a infield single. No play there for Mickey Doolin. A must-win game for the Naps, otherwise the season is over. We head to the bottom of the first inning now. The 2-2 pitch against Sherry McGee from Addie Joss is crushed all over the head of the left fielder, Birmingham. Sherry McGee is not stopping at second. Sherry McGee slides in head first to third base in safely with the triple. So the best hitter of Philadelphia continues to menace Cleveland pitching. Unable to score, we're in the bottom of the second inning. Doolin on first base, the 3-2 count, running on the pitch. Doolin, the catcher, hits a line drive past Bill Bradley all the way to the wall, scoring Doolin and a RBI double for Red Doolin. Things are looking pretty bleak, bleak here for the Cleveland Naps. Already down a run here in the bottom of the second inning. We are in the top of the fifth inning now. Jay Clark at first base. And that's Terry Turner with an infield single. No play there for the third baseman, Eddie Grant. First and second now with nobody out for the Naps. Harry Bay batting. The 1-0 pitch to Bay. And he hits it in the air to right field, but it's going to drop for a hit. Bases will be loaded as they do not advance Clark to home. 0-2 pitch to Bill Hinchman from George McQuillan. And it's sharply to the second baseman. Otto nabs it out of the air. Throws it to third quickly. And Eddie Grant's there for the putout. So a double play. And then a strikeout of Eddie Jaws. So just when the Naps thought they had something brewing, quickly out of that inning, we go to the top of the sixth inning now with Elmer, Elmer Flick up, Joe Birmingham on second, and a huge blunder. Mickey Doolin drops the easy pop-up. Elmer Flick going to first base, advancing to third is Birmingham, and Naps up. Nap with a little pop-up to the shortstop, and this time... Mickey Doolin makes the play. So Knapp continues to struggle both defensively and offensively. And so the Knapps continue to struggle. 3-1 pitch to Jay Clark, and he hits it on the ground to the second baseman. Knapp makes the play over to first, and another runner or two are stranded. Or another runner in scoring position. We head to the top of the seventh inning now. Harry Bay with a line drive. Base hit, one out. So with Bay on first base... One out in the top of the seventh. Last hope for Cleveland to stay alive in this one. Bill Hinchman hits it into right field. There's a base hit. Advancing the second base is Bay. First base is occupied by Hinchman. And that brings up Addie Joss. one nothing. Addie Joss will bat. It looks like there is a pickoff at first. Oh, I probably tried to do a double steal. Yeah, Harry Bay's gone. So I tried to do a double steal there, and it didn't work. So I was probably, yeah, very morale. My morale was in the book tank for that one. Top of the eighth inning, one out. Joe Birmingham, the batter. And Birmingham with a base hit into right field. So the Naps need to get something going here. Otherwise, they will be swept out of the World Series. Birmingham at first base. Elmer Flick batting with a 3-2 pitch inside for a ball. Birmingham was on the move, and Flick walks. So first and second, with Nap Lajue on, they did a double steal and were successful. Or, yeah, I think it was a double steal. Nap ends up with a base hit. They score both runs on this. Both runs score. And Cleveland Naps take a 2-1 to one lead on the RBI single by Nap. So if Nap can come through more, the Naps will have better results. Go figure. So Nap with the single. The 1-2 pitch now to Terry Turner. Another single all the way out of the wall. And Knapp is not going to stop. Knapp is going to keep going. He's headed home. Knapp makes it home. Terry Turner with a double. And the Knapps are now leading 3-1 here in the top of the eighth inning. Bottom of the eighth. Two outs. 2-2 two -two pitch to Roy Thomas. Addy Joss delivers. And Roy Thomas hits it up the middle. So a little rally could be started with Roy Thomas at first. Sherry McGee stepping in. 1-2 pitch now in the top of the ninth inning as they could not get any runs for the Phillies. Lead-off single for Bill Hinchman. So Hinchman reaches. And they were unable to get anything out of that. 
Bottom of the ninth now. 2-0 pitch to John Titus. He hits it up the middle. Base hit. So Phillies with a leadoff single in the bottom of the ninth. I think the bullpen starts warming up here. Now pinch hitting is Fred Osborne, and he hits an infield single. So 0-2 pitch. Philadelphia Phillies with the chance to walk off and win, sweep the World Series from the Cleveland Naps in 1907. 1-2 pitch to Ernie Courtney. He hits it on the ground to the pitcher. Eddie Joss gets it, throws it to first, not in time. Courtney's at first. Bases are loaded. Mickey Doolin, the person that's been tormenting the Cleveland pitching, is up. The 1-1 pitch to Kitty Bransfield, who they put in instead of letting Mickey Doolin bat. Kitty Bransfield hits into a 5-4-3 double play. And now at this point, I have to decide whether or not I want to walk Red Doolin or pitch to him. I did walk Red Doolin. I made them pinch hit the pitcher, Frank, Fred Jacklich, who grounds it to the pitcher. Addy Joss makes the play. Cleveland survives to play another game. Fights off elimination and faces a 3-1 to deficit. So game five will be in Philadelphia. And I will see you next time. There's one more game to be played. And 3-1 to one Philadelphia lead. Have a great day.